In this episode, I'm gonna show you the three steps to building a six-figure Shopify store right now in 2018. What's going on, guys? My name is Dom from Turbo. That's useturbo.com. We are the leading Facebook and Instagram ads tool for Shopify. If you don't know us, you're crazy. You need to check us out. But I'm super excited to bring you this episode. Awesome. So let's jump right into it. This is how you build a six-figure dropshipping business on Shopify in 2018. This is a real case study with real data and real examples. So let's get right into it. The store that has accomplished these crazy results within four weeks is a brand called Sunye's. It's a sunglasses brand that did incredibly well within a very short period of time. And I'm gonna show you step by step how they did it. So you can see we're on their website right now. This is sunyays.com and they sell sunglasses. There's a wide variety. You can see that there's a nice beautiful website, clear, crystal clear, beautiful creatives and images. Just a really well designed website which is part of their success. You can see the products are priced around $30 to $50 and there's a, there's a wide variety of them. And to give you some stats on how fast they actually grew, uh, we're gonna take a look. So this is a Shopify exchange. This is where you see Shopify stores that are for sale. And this one is um, a special scenario, but take a look at this. They started in March and within four weeks, they hit $8,677 in sales in April, right? And if you do the math, uh, 8,600 uh, 8, times 12, $104,000. That's assuming, of course, they continue to perform at the level that they were at. I would imagine if he was actually still running this business, which he clearly stopped, uh, he would easily reach 100K. But that's that's just a little bit of insights on their performance. This is a Shopify exchange, so these stats are real and it's plugged right into their Shopify store. And they stopped promoting the store for a crazy reason. And I'm going to tell you that at the end. But with that being said, I want to show you the three steps as to how they did this exactly because a lot of people are in Shopify right now and they're not doing well the people that are doing well however are following these three steps and I want to make sure that you follow them so let's jump right in there's three of them as I mentioned and the first one is the f the first step is to find a high performing product a product that's gonna sell because if you don't have a product that sells you can have the best marketing in the world but you're not gonna move it off the shelves so you need to find a high performing product and there's a couple ways to do this uh, he laid out two specifically uh, in his interview when he was talking about this brand the first one was using a tool called Google Trends Google Trends allows you to explore and see what the world is searching for and get historical data on each date or each month so for example if we were to search sunglasses what it allows you to do is spot trends that's why it's called Google Trends but you can see when when historical data is rising when it's falling and you can get a good sense as to where the market's going and how people are interested in a product as time goes on so you can see here that uh, at the end of the year what last year it was basically at its all-time low and you can see uh, the search the interest over time continues to rise all the way up until July and that makes sense seasonality uh, that makes sense for most businesses especially one as clear as sunglasses but um, Google Trends was one of his go-to tools for doing product research before he even started the second tool that he used was his girlfriend I know that sounds crazy but if you have a family member a friend or even yourself that's in the market for a specific product you can go to yourself or go to that person for feedback and so what he did was he he gathered a huge list of sunglasses he said hey which ones would you enjoy which ones do you actually pay for he filtered out the top performing or the highest opinion sunglasses, I guess, of his girlfriend, and he put those on a store. That was the first two steps to finding a high-performing product. He had two more, and I'm gonna link them in the description below. I wanna keep this video short. I have a full blog post on this topic specifically. The third one was my favorite, so check out it. It's in the link below. But that was step number one, find a high-performing product. The second step was to design a beautiful, high-converting website. And I'm gonna show you a really cool trick here, but as you can see, he's got a really nice website. It's really well designed. It looks like it was from a professional. Perhaps it was, I'm not sure, but uh, if you're anything like me, you aren't the crazy, most artistic person. Um, and so this is how you design a beautiful website. Shopify has hundreds of themes. You need to start with a theme that works. Now, when, you're, when you don't have a ton of experience, you don't want to venture off too far from those themes. I see a lot of people get themes and they try to personalize it and they add crazy backgrounds. That doesn't work. You want to make sure your website is beautiful because the one goal is to establish enough trust for someone to purchase something from your site. And design is one of the best ways to do that. And so here's a quick little trick uh, to find it. First of all, you want to find themes, obviously. You can go to the Shopify theme store. 
but it, you can get lost really quickly. And so what you can do is go and reverse engineer your competitors. Go and look and see what they're doing or people in your market are doing that's working for them. This, this applies for their theme too. So I'm going to show you a quick little trick. If you're on Google Chrome, you can right click inspect. What this is going to do, it's going to open up the developer toolkit. Click council over here. And I want you to, I want you to type something into this council here. I'm a developer, um, so I have a lot of cool tricks like this. But check this out. What we're going to do is going to click here, and you'll see the cursor starts typing. You're going to type council.log, opening parentheses, Shopify, closing parentheses, hit enter. What this is going to do is it's going to print uh, a JavaScript variable on their website, and it's going to show you information about their theme. So check this out right here. You can actually council log Shopify.theme like this, and you'll see boom. This is literally the theme that they're using. You can expand this little thing here. It's called an object. And you can see the exact theme that they're using. So they're using symmetry. So if I were to command copy and paste that into Google, symmetry Shopify theme, we're going to find it. Let's see. I don't need to type in Shopify theme. You can even see people are searching free download. Boom. There we go. This is the exact theme that they're using. It's $180. Okay, great. Not too bad. That'll save you a ton of time on design. And you can see all the all the great features of the theme. So that's a quick little hack. Go find your dropshipping competitors. See what theme they're using. You don't need to reinvent the wheel here. Obviously, you're going to want to use this theme and touch it up and make it your own brand. But you don't need to reinvent the wheel when you don't need to. So that's a quick little tip for finding themes and making sure that you have a high-performing and beautiful website. The third thing that they did really well was with acquired customers. That's the most important part, right? You can have a product, you can have a beautiful website, but if you can't get traffic to it profitably and get those people to buy your product, you're dead. And so this is the three layer strategy that he used with Facebook ads. So you guys have probably seen a handful of Facebook tutorials on YouTube or on the internet. And uh, those tutorials usually cover the first layer, right? So they show you how to how to initially reach people with Facebook ads. You put your interests in, you set that lad live, and you let it go up, right? That's the first layer. But there was three layers to his Facebook strategy that I want I want to cover. So we talked about that. We talked about this. This is the three-step funnel. So the first step is that he 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 pilled just like the other Facebook tutorials on the internet. He put in his interests. He set up a prospecting campaign, and what prospecting campaign is targeting cold audience that no one has ever heard of you, right? So this may be people interested in sunglasses or people interested in a big sunglasses brand. That's stage one, a general ad, right? And this ad is main goal. Most people think it's to drive conversions, but that's not the case. The first goal is to get people to get interested in your brand, to maybe click on your ad, visit your website, and learn a bit more about you. Facebook's getting more competitive, and the reason people say Shopify doesn't drop shipping, drop shipping doesn't work anymore is because it's harder to acquire customers. This is how you combat it. Step one, or stage one of the funnel. Get people to your website, get people interested. By nature, a handful of them will uh, they'll convert, but not enough to make your ads profitable. But that's where stage two and three comes in, and this is where your funnel gets profitable, right? So people people will click on your ad, they go to your website, and then they're pixeled. Then they're, can, they're able to be retargeted. You can show retargeting ads to these people. But rather than running generic retargeting ads, what these guys at Sunye's did, and what the most uh, intelligent marketers are doing right now is they're building funnels. And here's what this looks like. Here's a nice little visual. There's two stages to this funnel. The first stage is uh, a time frame of day zero to day five. So if they visited any, uh, if I've if they visited our website in the last five days, they're in this stage of the funnel, right? They abandoned the website today, and they abandoned the website five days ago. That's stage one of the funnel, and we'll do something unique there and deliver a unique ad that we'll talk about in a second. The second stage, or excuse me, the third stage of the funnel, technically, right? Because the first one is the prospecting first touch ad. This is the second stage. This is the third stage. And this is retar retargeting funnel part two. And this is from days six to 15. And you can see here that it's a journey, right? So the day zero to day five, they go through this phase. And days five to 15, they go through these this phase. This is called a retargeting funnel. And this is what Sunyas did and was able to successfully scale their store to what they did. Here's an example of what they did. I don't have the exact ads, but the first stage is just a generic reminder ad that works really well because people come to your site, they express interest, maybe they add to cart, but they get distracted and they don't purchase. That's where a perfect reminder ad comes up. Hey, we're Sunyas, we have the best sunglasses in the world, here's what we do, right? A simple reminder ad. Notice I don't use a promo code or anything crazy in this reminder ad because this is usually enough to get people to come over and click through and purchase because these people are easier to convert than these people. 
because they're more relevant. It's more recent, right? If I tell you about a product that you viewed yesterday, you'd be much more interested in that that product than as if I were to show you a project that you a product you viewed 30 days ago, right? Because it's more relevant. So that being said, moving into stage two, what they realize is that, okay, relevance is key, timeliness is key. We need to incentivize these people in the second stage a little bit more to come back and we use a flash sale to do that. So hey, flash sale, five days only, 20% off. And that's what they did. And so what they did was they had three stages, right? First stage, general prospecting ad, stage two, reminder ad, stage three, funnel sale, funnel part three, excuse me, flash sale ad. I'm excited, I'm talking fast. But those were the three stages and that's how they were to profitably acquire uh, Facebook ads or clients from Facebook ads. And I wanna actually show you, we have a Shopify app that helps you do this and they use the exact campaign in our app, right? Our campaign uh, builder, we have what we call campaign templates which make it really easy to build Facebook funnels. Uh, and they were using this campaign template right here. So let me show you how it works really quick. It's called Cart Abandonment Advanced. So we're gonna click this here. Boom, campaign templates will do all like the heavy lifting for you. This is turbo retargeting for Shopify, by the way. And what it does is it pre-fills all the needed information and little known industry secrets into your campaigns so you can achieve high performance. But check this out. So this is gonna be targeting people who have initiated checkout in the last 30 days but have not purchased. That's the audience. Where it gets gets interesting is the campaign stages, right? So you can have funnels that build these sequential ad experiences like we just saw in that other screen. So you can see here, this is stage one, and then they wait for 10 days without purchase, and then they move to stage two, right? See what we're doing here? Let's see for yourself why everyone loves our sunglasses, right? You can get the idea here. So this is a Facebook ad free targeting funnel. This is really hard to do manually, by the way, and you can do this with our app for free. We have a bunch of free trials, but that's what they were doing. They were building a retargeting funnel. So the first layer, get people to your website with a general prospecting ad. You guys know how to do that. It's not going to be profitable because it's more competitive now, but this is where you recoup your cough and this is recoup your cost and this is where you get all of these profits and all of these sales is from the retargeting funnel so give this a shot because it works you can do it manually or you can install our app for free and do it because we have campaign templates and it'll save you a bunch of time and potential mistakes but that's how they were doing it those were the three steps so again recap step number one find top selling products there's two things that we talked about google trends in the market listening to your consumers listening to your friends there's two others that i want to talk about it's in the blog post we don't have time the second step to building this insanely profitable drop shipping store is to design a beautiful website find your competitors find market leaders inspect their stores see what themes they're using and then start with that That'll avoid a ton of design mistakes. And step three is to profitably run Facebook ad funnels. Start with that prospecting touch, that first touch. Optimize for prospecting, uh, excuse me, optimize your prospecting campaigns for website clicks or website conversions, and then follow up that website traffic with a two or three stage retargeting funnel, either built through our app, Turbo Retargeting, or by yourself. And that is the success. Those are the three keys to success in drop shipping in 2018. It is getting more competitive, but the cream will rise. There is always room for market leaders, and there's always room for very niche websites. So whatever you're doing, wherever you're in, if you apply these three simple steps, you will likely see very similar success. With that being said, one last quick note, Oberlo is actually giving this business away. The founder's a serial Shopify entrepreneur and he's giving this business away. All you need to do is go to the link in the description and check it out. Oberlo's got a contest running. You can win the business. You can win a crazy subscription to Shopify itself and a lot of cool perks and prizes for people that enter. So go check it out. Oberlo was kind enough to share this case study and they're giving away the business. It was actually absolutely crazy. I've never seen anything like it. So go check it out. With that being said, that's about it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos. Hit the like button, subscribe, and let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks and I'll see you next time.